What's up, everybody? Welcome to the day in the life of an electrical engineering student. Start the day off, wake up, whip up some breakfast. Then I got to make it to my first class by about 9.40. First class for me is biology. Uh, I probably could have taken this my freshman or sophomore year, but I put it off. <laughs> and uh, here I am senior year taking it, but it's all right because it makes for an easy class. Um, yeah, but this class ends at about 10.30. And from there, we go to my next class. Second class of the day is going to be electromagnetic interference, or EMI, and that starts at 10.45. Uh, this class is a tech elective, and it comes with uh, a lab section to it. So as you currently see, I'm in the lab section of this. We have a uh, current student, or a TA, basically teaching us uh, some of the stuff we're going to be doing for the rest of the semester in this lab and class. So he's basically showing us how to use a listen device. This stands for Line Impedance Stabilization Network. And he's also showing us how we're going to be taking our measurements off the oscilloscope and how to increase the bandwidth on it. Most of your tech electives or electrical engineering classes will have some type of lab that goes along with them similar to this. Basically, we'll be teaching you how to use the equipment and to properly measure and do stuff in that class. Here's an example of some of the labs that we use. This is our uh, electronics lab. These labs were uh, put together and funded by TI. So shout out to them. Very helpful to our school and university. Here's the circuits lab, which we do our circuit stuff in, as well as some of our energy systems uh, labs. I'm electrical, but on the left over here, we have a, a chemical engineering lab. I don't really know what you'd be doing in that, but chemical engineering students are in there often. So now we have my lunch study time. I have a little break here until my next class at one o'clock. So we usually just come in here, study, eat lunch in the electrical engineering lounge while we wait for the next class. Good view and everything. Now it's time for my thermodynamics class. <laughs> my friend Michael right here, this guy works for NASA, doing big things. <laughs> Go, Michael. Now, although this isn't an electrical engineering course, most engineers will have to take this or something similar to it. After thermo, we have senior design. For me, it's senior design too, because this is my second semester in it. And all electrical engineers will have to do something similar to this in order to graduate. Um, basically, at the beginning of the semester, you're put in groups and in those groups you're given a uh, a senior design uh, electrical engineering project to finish by the end of the year so there's a couple examples of this this guy right here is working on a circuit that he can implant in a softball that will measure the force and acceleration when it's thrown and hit Another project would be my friend Alex right here. He's working on an audio amplifier, a Class D audio amplifier. He's working under Dolby. So for these projects, you'll also have a mentor. My project is a 340 by 120 kilovolt substation. And uh, this mainly consists of doing uh, single line diagrams, uh, AC, DC schematics, uh, three line diagrams and uh, planning stuff like that, uh, building blueprints around it. So that doesn't really require any circuit board work, but we do work on a lot of software such as ETAP, Bluebeam. Here we have one of my friends that's working on a metal detector. So he's soldering the circuit that they're going to place in it to make it go off. So these projects can range from power to PCB to uh, other things, depending on what you're interested in in the field. Some more stuff you'll be doing in the lab using a voltmeter. 
as you can see here he's probably testing the voltage of something here we have a boat with sensors on it i'm not sure what that is supposed to be maybe a self-driving boat but yeah after that i'm done for the day and i head home at least with my schoolwork. So get home whip up some dinner Yum. Chicken's fire. And this is a very crucial part of the day. You're going to want to put at least two to two and a half hours to the side to study and do homework. Uh, staying on top of your stuff in the engineering department is very important. And if you can do so, your life will be a lot easier. So then from seven to nine, I go work out, run, box. And then I'll finish the day off with the sauna. And then from about 10 to 12, I'm going to watch movies and play video games until it's time, until I wear myself out and go to bed, basically. And this is pretty much the end of the day right here. So, yeah, after this, you just wake up and repeat. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's the day in the life of an electrical engineering student. This is my senior year, so things will change up a bit. If you're a sophomore or a junior, you'll have a lot more labs for your uh, circuits and electronics classes. But yeah, if y'all have any questions, just comment below. I'll do my best to answer. And thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if this helped. Appreciate it.